poor shadow could have possibly got an egg bound hopefully there's no more broken eggs and i could manage to save all of these it looks like shadow is laying some eggs if she does end up laying this is gonna be the first time ever that i collect sulcata eggs at night looks like she's still digging them. nope she ended up not laying that night she actually it's actually been a few nights since i recorded that video and she's already dug a few other test holes this is probably like her seventh or eighth attempt but let's see maybe she's gonna lay in the same spot as popeye well popeye was over there but similar spot the next day all right i just got to my grandpa's house and i find this and shadow was on top of it we have a little bit of an emergency i got really lucky got here perfect timing i i always end up getting scenarios like this that i run into disaster as soon as it begins what happened is that hold on she she's not on a nest right now so what's happening is shadow was digging a nest here and then tank actually fought her and dragged her over here and he pushed her over here so that he could start mating with her you know how tank is and poor shadow just couldn't hold it in anymore since she was already laying her eggs she just kept doing so and now popeye is over here trying to see everything i feel like it's always the same and it's always these two luckily there's only one broken egg and then there's one cracked one so it looks like most of these eggs are going to be saved hopefully these tortoises leave me alone so i can focus on saving the eggs luckily right now she hasn't laid some as well and here we go look at this i was in the middle of feeding them so let's see if i could get her to come over here and here you can see all the little marks on the floor those dirt patches there that's from tank fighting with shadow and trying to mate her but let's see right now she's kind of just laying the eggs and what's happening is as soon as she lays the next one it crushes it so that's how the first two got crushed and oh my god look at this weirdo going for the eggs instead of the missouri that i put right there but anyways let's just put these here and i managed to get here right on time here comes another one to save all of these eggs had i been 10 minutes later there wouldn't have been any eggs and now here comes the nameless one to see what's going on as well this is gonna be problematic <sighs> And of course, I'm by myself, so I don't have anybody to help. And this is partly why I gave up on YouTube, because I got to manage all of this mayhem and somehow manage to pull out a video as well out of it that is focused and not all blurry and pixelated with my finger in it. So it's, it's a little bit difficult, but let's see if we can just get Popeye to walk into this food over here. And now this girl needs to also come this way. These tortoises are just a little bit too friendly for their own good. Now here comes Nyx as well. This is mayhem. Oh no. Hopefully there's no more broken eggs and I could manage to save all of these. It looks like the nameless one coming this way kind of pushed Shadow back a little bit, which isn't too bad, but that could have easily crushed this egg had I not lifted her up a little bit. Here, look, the food is here, guys. Come this way, please. Let's see, it's kind of working. Oh no, the thing is I can't leave for too long. Either way, they go back this way. And by the way, these tortoises all weigh close to 100 pounds. There we go, gotta lift her up one-handed, pull that bad boy out, and put him in here. I'll move this back a little bit because they're slowly inching closer and closer. If these tortoises were any faster, it would be very dangerous to be doing this. Here, let's, let's sacrifice the rest of this Missouri. Maybe they want this container. Okay, let's see that. It's kind of doing something there. All right, we got two of them. Now just one, which is just watching the show, I guess. And now she's not watching. Now she's going to be interfering. Oh, here comes Luna, the last one to the show. Tank is locked up over there. I fed him and separated him first, of course, because I needed to save poor Shadow here. Oh, here comes an egg. Oh no, she's on top of this one and it cracked a little bit. That's why I gotta be focused on. Let's put it here next to the other cracked one. Oh no, here's another one. Oh, thank God, this one's not cracked. All right. Oh no, here's Luna. All right, no eggs right now. Come on, Luna. 
Come get some Missouri. Come on. Nope. She's going to go that way. These guys don't listen to me. At least these two are distracted. I'm very happy that she's finally laying her eggs because I've been dealing with this this whole entire week. She's dug about 8 to 10 holes at this point. I'm just tired of coming to my grandfather's house every 30 minutes to check on her. So I'm glad that she's finally starting to lay her eggs. And tomorrow I have a lot of animal shows that I have to do. So I'm lucky that I'm not doing it this weekend. Here's another one. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Nice and safe. And finally the tortoises are relaxed. Oh, excuse you. Wow. These are the ladies of the group. We already know Tank over there has absolutely zero manners though. And it looks like Shadow might be starting to cover up the nest. It looks like she laid about 16 total eggs. Remember that one of them is right over here and the rest of it is being smelled by Luna right now. Uh-oh, trying to get a little sneak attack from behind. Let's get these out of here. So now of course we need to put these eggs in the incubator. And luckily I got here right on time to be able to save Shadow's eggs because 100% we would not have had that many eggs to collect. It would have all been yolk and cracked. And worst case scenario, poor Shadow could have possibly got an egg bound uh, since Tank was mating her when I got here, which obviously as soon as I saw that, I pulled Tank off, took him over there, gave him some Missouri. And once I saw Shadow started popping out eggs, I dragged her over there and the only two, two cracked ones and one completely broken one. So that came out pretty good. I actually came here to feed all the animals so i got very lucky that i walked in on this and saved it here's clyde and bonnie or i guess bonnie and clyde and they are doing great i just came to feed them a little bit of missouri on oh, here here's the male which i don't have a name for him yet but this guy is a very good male he's very dominant and they're all getting along great so i'm very happy to see that by the way, Clyde is a female. Uh, I never really made an update on that, but I'm, I'll probably make one on them very soon since they're gonna be getting a big upgrade, which they very much need because right now they're kind of enclosureless, but at the same time, they have three enclosures because I just opened all of these up, as you can see, and I'm letting them use all of it because I wanted to get them all together, but I, ouch, Clyde always loves to climb on me. So you guys know from my old videos, but um but these guys get along very good and i wanted to get them together so i just decided to put them in here so that they could breed and get ready for this coming season and they're going to be getting their enclosure hopefully in the next couple of weeks when i set up that new big structure that's over there but yeah let me get out of here before they start cutting me up with their sharp claws definitely need to make some more videos on them if you guys want to see more make sure you hit the subscribe button turn on post notifications and let me know here are the two cracked eggs this one's going to be a very easy fix. As you can see, it's just a minor crack right at the top there. This one is a little bit more complicated. It looks like it's a whole fracture, as you can see. It's missing whole chunks, but they both look savable. This one a lot more than the other, but I think that both of them are going to be able to hatch just fine as long as they're fertile. First thing I'm going to do, of course, is clean all of this off just to make sure we're seeing what we're working with. So you can see that whole piece there wasn't even actually on there. It was just on top. By the way, if the egg rotates a little bit, that's okay. These eggs were just laid. The embryo doesn't actually attach to the egg for the first 24 hours. It actually takes a little bit of time. The sulcatas are faster than the redfoots, but the redfoots actually take longer than that sometimes. But as you can see, definitely more damaged than it looked like before. Looks like this isn't actually even on there. So these pieces aren't even really on there, but that's okay. We should still be able to save it with some hot glue. So what we want to do here is block all the air from entering this hole. You make this airtight. So we're going to use the hot glue. I'm simply going to fill this all in. That should be good for a little bit of extra precaution. I like to spread it out a little bit further than just the hole. Just to make it a nice tight seal do my best let's see i think that is good to go it's actually a little bit that i would like to get right here just putting a little bit more here caking it up as much as i can try to make it as airtight as i could 
because if even a little bit of air goes into these eggs, the entire inside would collapse and the baby tortoise would not hatch out. And there we go, completely covered up. Now we just gotta put these bad boys in the incubator.